Hi, Dave. It's Oceana here with G3. Um, thank you so much for your time today and for your lovely conversation and sharing your knowledge with me. I, I really appreciated it. Um, and I'm looking forward to what you have to say about this little presentation I put together here for you. I'm looking forward to your words of wisdom and as well as your uh, critiquing. So uh, here we go. Um, so basically, I found your website, uh, your uh, Facebook here. <laughs> uh, you're totally right. It's been a while since you used this, since 2012. Uh, so long, in fact, that this this is a new feature here. You can actually include a big picture at the top of your your profile now, and you haven't you haven't used this in so long that wasn't a feature back then. So now you've got this standard background. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, but okay, so basically, what is the point? What is it? What I that I do? Why is it that it's better to have a website than to have a Facebook page, for example? Um, so your Facebook page definitely shows up when you type in Dave Hershey Landscape, and that's great um, for people that already know you or they've heard of you from a friend and they're looking for you because they, they already trust your, your brand. That's fantastic. I, that's good. But what's even better is if you're showing up in front of people who know that they need your services, but they don't know who they're going to go with yet. And that's where we get this growth. So um, if I type Riverside Concrete into Google, um, like 100 people are each month on average. I know that because of this Keywords Explorer here. Um, Riverside Concrete, volume 100 people are searching it. This is a tool that I use to, um, to get an idea of search volume and demand, as well as get an idea of how websites perform. Um, like if they're actually receiving organic traffic from Google and stuff like that. Uh, but so 100 people are typing this into Google every single month uh, on average, <laughs> I should say. Uh, and then down here, we've got the map pack. So how you get up into this area right here, which is basically the top three local results plus an ad <laughs> sometimes. Uh, so how you get up into this section is with Google My Business. So you actually, I don't, I wasn't able to find one for you, but you're going to want to go to business.google.com and click manage now. And that's going to, you're going to be able to add your information here and that'll create this little um, listing, which if I show you a competitor's listing, okay, it's not working. Let's try that. So it comes up with all this information, their name, they've got their address here, phone number, uh, link to their website, directions. Um, they can, Google users can save them um, to call later or whatnot. So that's pretty useful, but it gets really useful when you start adding citations to the mix. Basically, citations are a listing of your name, address, and phone number. When they're spelled exactly the same way as they're spelled on your Google My Business, um, then they act as a vote of confidence, basically showing Google you really exist and you really do serve that area. Uh, and if you become more credible than the others in your area for any particular keyword, then you end up in the top three and that's how people come to your website. That's one way. The other way is through organic traffic and that's going to be down here. Um, this one here, this Yelp uh, uh, result <laughs> is going to get approximately about 30% of all of the traffic that's going to come to this whole page. So of the 100 people that are typing this into Google each month, um, about 30 of them are going to click on this first link. However, since this is Yelp, it's a directory. It's not really a local competitor. So I'm not going to compare you to them. It just wouldn't make sense. It's, um, but I will be able to compare you to Riverside Concrete Brian's, Brian Materials Group. So you may or may not recognize them as a competitor of yours, uh, but they do uh, concrete in Riverside. So what we're looking at here when we're checking out their website um, is uh, three things. <laughs> uh, so we're looking for content. How many words do they have on their page and what are they about? Are they relevant? Do they talk about what they do, how they do it and all that kind of stuff? And they kind of quickly go over some stuff, but they don't really go into much detail, which is good for us because that means if we go into detail about this stuff and we include these keywords that people are really typing in Google each week, uh, each month, um, then that's going to be an indicator that we're the most um, 
where we have the most knowledge on the subject, which is what Google's looking for. They're looking for an expert to put in front of people with questions. Um, so if we talk about uh, what you do and how you do it and where you do it, all that kind of stuff, that's going to help a lot. And then there's actually a fun little trick here. I can right click on an image, click Save Image As, and I can see what this image was saved as. And this one was saved as 2018-07-BMG. Um, so that's what I call a must, missed opportunity. <laughs> uh, what they could have done, and what I would suggest you do if you decide to uh, create your own website someday, is to save these images as key phrases that people are actually typing into Google each month. What are they again? <laughs> right here. So this is this is the same phrases that you're going to want to include in your content. You're going to want to save your images as that. Um, and that's just going to be indicator after indicator that when someone types that into Google, you should be the one that pops up at the top there. Uh, and then not only just having that stuff on your page, um, but you also have to kind of prove to Google that you are popular on the Internet. Uh, how, you, how do you do that? Well, that's with backlinks and referring domains. So a um, backlink is any link that goes from another website going back to your website. And then a referring domain is any of the websites that have at least one of those links on there. So this page, this uh, I've put in your this competitor's page. This this one is not their home page, but slash Riverside Concrete. Uh, and so I put that into Arif's, and it's telling me that that's how I got this information here. And it's also telling me their UR score and their DR score. This is a a metric that's basically uh, represents how trustworthy and relevant and how powerful they are. So that kind of gives us an idea of how, what we're up against. Um, so they have only four backlinks coming into this one page that we'd want to beat out. Um, but we'd want to we'd want to outdo their DR score. This is basically how trustworthy their entire website is, whereas the UR score is just for this one page. Um, so if we want to beat out their entire website, um, then we're going to need more backlinks. Um, so here we have their whole backlinks. So they've got 78 different websites out there voting for their website to be at the top. Um, but they're not going to be that difficult to outdo. I can see looking at this number here in this column, you see all these zeros here? These are low quality backlinks. So they don't have a lot of power to pass. So what we want to do is go out there and find ones that have those higher scores like this and get more of those higher scoring ones than they have and also outdo them in content, outdo them in the images department. Um, and that's really going to increase the amount of people calling. It's just as simple as that. Um, I hope that this was clear. I look forward to your feedback on um, whether you feel like you learned something, um, how if you can see how this would work. Um, and of course, if you have interest in pursuing this yourself, I know you're saying you weren't very interested in that for yourself right now, um, or if you maybe have someone on your short list of people that you might subcontract to or uh, buddies that have gone off and started their own. <laughs> uh, we help concrete contractors and other contractors as well, but I really focus on concrete a lot um, all over the U.S. So anyways, there. here's how to get a hold of me. You also have my cell phone, uh, which is what I called you on originally. Um, yeah, I look forward to your feedback. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Dave.